Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I want to talk about something that we get questions about periodically, and that is white spots on the gum. Well, let's, what, are, what are typically some of the white spots, like six white spots that can appear on the gum and how they may be treated most effectively? So let's talk about canker sores, for instance. Canker sores are pretty frequent. Most people have had them at one time or another. If you give them time, they usually will go away by themselves. But if they're deep or they're large, it can take a long time for them to go away and it can be pretty, pretty painful. And so sometimes medications, mouth rinses are used, uh, steroids may be used to apply to the area but what I have found actually even though initially it's not so pleasant is actually cauterization if you use silver nitrate or sometimes we use a laser to actually cauterize or burn the superficial layer of that canker sore it kills the nerve endings and helps it to heal more speedily so that's something that a lot of people don't know about and wasn't mentioned in the literature that we read, but something that I've been using for a long time. And in some cases, it's really, really effective and gives the pain, patient the, the relief and the, the speed and healing that they're looking for. So let's next talk about oral thrush, which is kind of a, a whitish covering over your tongue. And it's actually caused by a fungus, typically something called candida. Now, most people have candida as part of the normal biome or microbiome in their mouth to some extent. But other bacteria tend to keep these candida under control so they don't over multiply. But sometimes if one's taking antibiotics or so they may have a weak immune system, the thrush can manifest itself. And typical symptoms are it's kind of your mouth feels cottony because it's kind of a cottony look on your tongue. There may be some loss of taste and it can be pretty unpleasant and pretty uncomfortable. The treatment for thrush typically is an, 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 an oral antifungal agent like something called mystatin that can be taken as a rinse it also comes in a tablet form and that's taken for 14 days and almost always that will clear up the thrush. But in some people who are very, very sick and their immune system is very compromised, they may be more prone to, to have thrush. Usually it's not serious, but it's not uncommon either. And if you do think you have a problem with thrush, we do have a full video and we'll link that so you can take a look at it if you'd like. Let's next talk about something called lichen planus. Lichen planus can appear as though a, as a, a, a kind of a white film in certain parts of the mouth, typically on the inside of the cheek. Sometimes it's along the gum line and sometimes this film is barely noticeable. Sometimes it's quite thick and uncomfortable. Sometimes it can be more severe and actually result in redness of the gum tissue and pain and a kind of a burning sensation. We don't really know what the cause of lichen planus is. Uh, my experience is it's a form of autoimmune disease and sometimes if treated, I had one patient who had it and we treated her with uh, autoimmune medication and it did seem to improve, but normally the treatment is various kinds of rinses that can help ease the symptoms. Lichen planus has periods of exacerbation where it gets worse, periods of remission where it gets better, but typically you know, one lives with it you know, one's entire life. Very often it may also manifest as rashes on the hands or feet or different parts of the body. Usually not serious, just unpleasant and uncomfortable treatable to some extent for, you know, treatable as far as relief and palliation is concerned by certain rinses. And we do have a full video on that as well. So if you'd like, you're going to be able to watch that. The next one is pregnancy, which is really caused by hormonal changes. And sometimes 
the gums will become more swollen and there may, may be a whitish coat on them. Very often nothing is done about it if it's not too serious or causing too much of a problem. Usually when the pregnancy is over, then that will go away by itself. If it's really problematic, sometimes a deep cleaning or scaling in the area of the swelling and affected tissue will help to relieve the problem. There is another cause of white spots, which is probably the most, maybe the most serious of all the white spots we've talked about, and that's called leukoplakia. And that's kind of a, almost a, a, a leathery, firm, white uh, coating or white area on the gum tissue, very often caused by nicotine. Sometimes people who hold nicotine, chew tobacco, hold nicotine, can cause leukoplakia. Leukoplakia itself is not a cancer, but it has to be kept a very close eye on because it can turn cancerous. So typically leukoplakia are white spots. You can rub them, but they don't go away and something that definitely needs to be observed uh, by your dentist, a periodontist, or an oral surgeon. So if you're getting white spots that are kind of leathery and aren't moving or aren't going away, definitely needs to be checked out. And treatment for it um, sometimes is simply surgery uh, and removing the leukoplakia area completely. The last one I want to talk about is periodontal abscesses. Now, typically periodontal disease, you don't get white spots, but if you have periodontal abscess, then you may have white areas because of the pus that may be coming out of those areas. And the pus, although may not be white, it's kind of a yellow, well, you know, I think most of you are familiar with what pus looks like. So if you have a periodontal abscess and it's severe, there actually may be pus extruding or coming out from around that infected area. And that really needs to be treated uh, antibiotics may be the first line, but definitely needs periodontal treatment because it usually indicates a fairly serious area of periodontal disease. So these are some of the things that we, you know, we're concerned about, especially leukoplakia, as I mentioned, which can be precancerous much more likely than any of the others. Uh, so we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to have questions. We'd love to have comments. We'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, healthy mouth means a healthier body. You can't have a healthy body if your mouth is not healthy. So please do the best you can. Stay, stay in uh, contact with us. Check with your dentist. And of course, as I always say, have a great day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.